this fight this week, and I think that's really what's made it the event that it is. Round one. I told Larry Holmes from my uh, home, and he said that, he, wait, I would not run for Mike Tyson, which implies he's, well, he's ready to uh, exchange punch for punch. Ray, I have to ask you, any punch that anybody with an iota of tactical wisdom would go after the body and take away Larry Holmes' legs. You agree? You know it's exactly, but you see what Larry Holmes is trying to do. He's trying to uh, use that reach advantage. Keep that stiff hand out there and not right, let, let go, Mike let Tyson go. get his punches off. Again, we see Mike Tyson not throwing punches inside. We see a lot of tying up from Larry Holmes, and we should see a lot of tying up. And Holmes does work the body, rather, Tyson works the body early. Again, Larry's preserving those legs. He's not doing a lot of dancing, a lot of moving, but you need to see more jam. He's keeping his man off by extending a stiff left hand. Holmes has contradicted himself as far as whether or not he's going to use the jab. Sometimes he says he will. Other times he says, I don't need it. I'll go to the right hand and right uppercuts. See, Tyson's having a few problems here not being able to uh, measure uh, Larry Holmes. And I think that's what Larry Holmes has in mind to try to frustrate Mike and make him run into him. Notice that there's not a snap. Larry Holmes is not snapping his jab, but actually, which is his proven to be effective thus far, he's extending his left hand. Just holding Mike Tyson off. All right, break out, let's go. Uh, break out, break out, please. Break out, please, guys. Break out, please. What Tyson has to do, he has to try to do a couple head face and work his way inside and work the body. All right, Larry, let's go, Larry. Break out, please. Break out, break out, please. But once Larry, again, the popular school of thought is that Larry Holmes is going to have to back up. Mike Tyson. Nobody's been able to do it yet. Left hand by Tyson. Holmes got out of there. Didn't seem to hurt him, though. What Tyson needs to do is just pick the pace up. He's drew the right hand to the body. Good idea because, again, he tried to slow the movement down. All right, let him go, please. Let him go, Larry. All right, let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Joe Cortez, the referee in this game, ironically, he was the judge who gave Larry Holmes the fight against Michael Spinks, the second Michael Spinks fight. He cannot score in this fight, however. Tyson was trying to jump in with the left hook. I Ten punches in the first round, and not too many of them in anger. And just to elaborate on that, by comparison, Tyrell Biggs threw 44, and Tony Tucker threw 61. Larry Holmes is being very economical in there. He's not wasting a lot of energy. He's just trying to preserve that strip. Serious convictions by Larry Holmes didn't land, but he tried to measure. We see once again the tie up by Larry Holmes. Kevin Rooney, where I wanted uh, Mike to go to the body. This is there by my strong jab. 
Kevin Rooney also told Mike Tyson three punch combination. All right, bring it. Bring out. Here go. Here go, Larry. Remember the numbering system we talked about before the fight that Mike Tyson and Kevin Rooney used. Lyholm must be careful when he tries to evade uh, Mike Tyson because his hands are down, and the way Mike throws those, those duping and powerful punches, he make it go with one of those uh, uh, hooks. Home so far, going with a lot of right hand leads and a lot of uppercuts. That basically is uh, abandoning his left jab and trying to actually set up Mike with the right hand. He's trying to time Mike coming in. All right, let him go, Larry. Bring it, bring it, please. He's not letting Mike get his punches off. He's tying him up every opportunity, opportunity he gets. There was another attempt. It fell short. The body's wide open and Tyson attacks him. I'm watching for an uppercut from Larry Holmes. A right uppercut. He's trying to cover him. Very close to a headbutt right there also. What Larry's doing, he's throwing his jab, not with a lot of force, but he's throwing it, and he's waiting for Mike to duck down to come under with the right hand. Right uppercut. Come on, come on. There's a workout right there. Watch your hands inside, guys. Let's go. All right, Larry, break. Larry, you're holding it, Larry. Let's go. Joe Cortez. Talking to Larry Holmes about holding. There's a left hook by Tyson. So far, this is a fight that only the American Medical Association could love. Also, my wife, who hates violence. That's really bad. Tyson did get closer to Larry at the end of the round with that wide combination of right to the body and a left that just grazed the mouth area. Holmes is practicing what Archie Moore used to call escapology. The question is, when is he going to start to practice fightology? Both guys must be extremely careful. For Larry Holmes, he can't move away with those hands down because of uh, the way Mike Tyson punches. For Mike Tyson, he has to be careful of not getting all anxious and coming in, winging those shots because it becomes telegraphed because of frustration. Tyson using a long left jab, much more than we've seen him do in his last two or three fights. See, Larry, Larry Holmes is trying to time Tyson coming in. That's the right hand. Tyson says, no, it didn't hurt. That usually means it hurt. Again, it, it only happened again there. Tyson must be extremely careful about just rushing in there. All right, break out, break out, please. Break out, break out, break out. Let's in the corner, Come Tyson on. complained to Kevin Rooney that uh, Larry Holmes is holding him, and <laughs> Kevin Rooney disagreed. He said, forget about that. You just go ahead and fight your fight. We see some snapping jazz from Larry Holmes there. The uppercut. All right, free. Bring out three. Let's go. Get him out. Get him out. Let's go. Holmes is using every advantage that he has. The height, the long arms, and a little bit of movement. And just waiting and trying to time Mike right, Tyson. Down, and he has done it a couple of times. He hasn't hurt Tyson, right, but he has caught him a couple of times. Team. No question about it. Larry Holmes has studied the tapes of Bone Crusher Smith. By Tyson, that fell short. Caught uh, Larry on the shoulder. Left hand caught home, ducking in, but no damage. 